Good morning, y'all. Good morning. <laughs> From almost Juno. Almost Juno, yep. We're uh, sailing into Juno this morning. Should get in around 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then at 10.30, 10.45, we had a uh, whale watching and Mendenhall Glacier tour, so that's going to be fun. Hopefully we'll get to see some whales, right? <laughs> right. We're going to rub gonna, the whale still. <laughs> we're going to be rubbing it. We haven't, we haven't seen any whales yet. I've no. heard that folks have spotted some in a few places briefly, but uh, in all the time that we've spent trying to Find whales. We have not yeah. yet seen any. I have found that they're very elusive. They are very elusive. So, yes. hopefully, with this guided tour, they'll take us to where the whales are. Yes. And it's going to be cold and rainy, but we're yeah. going to do it. Probably going to be orcas. Um, I want to see an orca. So. Yeah, I want to see orcas too. Uh, I think they've had some humpback spottings, but. There was a humpback the, 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 first, yeah. the first night. But. Even if, well, we should see something today. I'm going to say we're going to see something we today. We will see something yes. today. How's that? And then Mendenhall Glacier, so. And we're taking you guys along with us. Our tour is what, four or five hours or something? I think it's five hours. Starts yeah. at 1045, so 345 we should be done. Then all aboard is 830 tonight, so. We've got plenty we, of time to get in trouble. We've got a little time yeah, to uh, explore Juno as well. Yeah. Yesterday was not terribly busy. Just the Lumberjack show and some walking around. Today, we've got about half of our, our port day is taken up by an excursion. Tomorrow in Skagway, pretty much the entire day is taken up by two different excursions. So uh, it's going to be busy. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Come with us. Welcome to Juno. Welcome to Juno. <laughs> Juno. I had to get my hat because without my hat, I won't be able to see out of my hood. Yeah. Nice little trick there. <laughs> okay, so apparently our whale watching is canceled for the day because it's too windy to go out. And it's not safe. Yeah, it's not safe, so. We're going to have to try to figure out what we're going to do here. So since it was a two-part excursion, we have a choice to make whether we want to do half or not. Yeah, we so. could do the Mendenhall Glacier, uh, but not the whale watching, but we're only getting 50% back. And right. you can take a local bus to go see the Mendenhall Glacier. Yeah. So it's like, eh, I don't know. And we have about five minutes to decide, so we'll get yep. right back to you. We'll be back. So uh, they canceled half of our tour the whale watching portion. Uh, the only thing left is uh, like a walking tour to Mendenhall Glacier, which that's kind of want to do that, but I don't want to pay half of our total excursion costs just to go to Mendenhall Glacier because it was an expensive excursion with the boat portion. And the refund that they were offering was not well, it was half. Uh, yeah, it was half, but, you know, the majority of the cost was the boat. So we're back in the room uh, reconfiguring our bags because a lot of what we brought was for the uh, uh, the boat trip. And some we're of that so we don't need. We're so disappointed, too. Yeah, we disappointed are. for sure. The weather, man. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's one thing. The weather on this trip has been suboptimal. And, and, Everybody says you're gonna yeah. get rain, expect rain, and all that, and and there's nothing that we can do because I mean it's the weather. It. So maybe yeah. it's the time of year. I don't know. We're it's going in early June. Yeah. Um, definitely seem to have a lot of rain. I mean, we've only had one day where it didn't rain the whole day. Yeah, just yeah. And that was a sea day. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. So we're gonna go go out, brave the rain. See what we can see here in Juno. See if maybe we can get down to Mendenhall, and who knows? I don't know what we're gonna do now, but uh, we're gonna take you with us. Yep. Here we go. All right. Well, if nothing else, you eat, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're 
Tracy's Crab Shack, right? Yeah. They rung the bell for us. We got three pounds of uh, Alaskan king crab coming, plus some crab bisque. So I had to have some crab bisque. Saved a lot of money on the, on that excursion that we didn't get to take. But then we just spent it on food. Yeah, spent it on crab. But hey, it's fresh, local. Yeah. And here it comes. Thank you. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, keep the crabs on your own. <laughs> Man, this is like a real pink Alaskan pink crab right here. Uh, this okay. is like the deadliest Kent crab right here. Oh, look at that. Oh, you know what? I gotta take pictures of this. How is it? Good. Hey, hey, hey. What's wrong? Got you on camera trying to steal my food. So our other option for the day was taking the tram up to the top of the 1800 foot mountain here, I believe is what it is, but they closed the tram because of inclement weather, so. That's because ah, the wind's blowing pretty hard. I guess so. Somewhere it's blowing pretty hard. Not here, but somewhere. So strike two. So strike two, so I guess we're just going to wander around town today. Yeah. We'll Show you what there is to see yeah. on a rainy and windy day that shuts down most Show of the excursions. You what your options are when yep. you can't do Some excursions. options when your excursions get canceled. That's today's show. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Remain untamed. Remain untamed. Cheers. Alaska Brewing Company. Gotta have a Kolsch. That's their seltzer. So. Lime seltzer. Seltzer. Nice. <laughs> All right, Laurie wants to talk. I do. So talk. And he goes, okay. And then I was like, well, I don't know what I'm going to say. And he goes, well, I thought you wanted to talk. And I go, yeah, I do want to talk. All right, well, what are you going to say? I don't know what I'm going to say. So I'm just going to tell you, I don't know what I say. I just wanted to talk to you guys. You know, we're just kind of sitting here and, you know. Drinking beer. And, yeah. And, you know, everybody. There's the, the vibe around just in general with all of the cruise ships and stuff is is like sad. It's not like frustration. People aren't really mad, you know, because you can't be mad. It's weather related, but. It's weather, whatever, but people are, sad. people are getting, yeah, sad and a little bit frustrated because, um, you know, just sitting here at the bar, we hear people, oh yeah, this was canceled, that's canceled. Um, and there's nothing you can do, you know? People uh, on the Facebook groups complaining, Ah, I planned this a year ago, and now two port stops in a row. All my excursions got canceled. It's like it happens. Yeah, what you gonna do? Punch. I mean, that's what you do. You punch. <laughs> you go exploring town, or you know, you I don't know, maybe learn a lesson, and next year decide to do it, or the next time you go, if you get a chance to go to Alaska again, maybe you do it later in the season or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if that helps at all. But even, you know, I mean, we're business owners, right? Small business, too. And so from a from a, that perspective, like, I would be happy right here, sort of the whole on the flip side of that. Like, all of the businesses are getting probably way more Oh, yeah, probably all the downtown businesses. are leaving and doing oh, stuff. So, I mean, and, and that, when you think about it that way, and I can't help but think about it that way because, you know, it's part of part of us. Yeah. But, all the businesses yeah. near the port are probably making out like game but gangbusters. Yeah. So. so I mean, uh, I mean it's not. Uh, it hurts all the the uh, tour related companies, but yeah, what right, you gonna do? Right, and think about all the companies that are having to refund all. Yeah. The money too. I mean, I that, mean that's rough too. I wouldn't want to be in that position where I had to refund all that money. Right. I mean, our 
Wales and Mendenhall Glacier tour. I don't know how much that was a piece, but I don't remember. Alaska I tours are expensive. Excursions are expensive here in Alaska. Which is why we didn't and take another one because they was like right. 100 bucks plus a person. Yeah. And so we're like, well, eh, we'll just. Well, this one was, this one was probably 250 a person. Oh, easy. I would guess, yeah, for the because you're going out on a boat, that's going to be expensive. Um, but. So what do you do? You eat and you drink, which... You roll with the punches. Yep, we've eaten, now we're drinking, and so... Yep, eat, <laughs> we'll drink, and shopping. Yes, eat, drink, and shop. I mean, That's those are great do. things, too. And people like... Gotta have the people. souvenirs to bring home, right? Yes. Thanks for listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We decided to go ahead and take the bus over to the Mendenhall Glacier and Nugget Falls. Uh, ended up costing us 80 bucks a piece for the bus. Gives us two hours on site, I believe. Yes. And so it's about three hours total, uh, with half an hour for each way. Each way and uh, two hours there on site. You know, I was telling you earlier that when we watch the videos and stuff and everybody's all bundled up, I always think to myself, is that, you know, really, is really that cold and this, that, and the other, and you don't really know when they're going and stuff. And let me tell you what, it's cold. I've got gloves on right now. I've got a scarf thingy on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not terribly cold. My little thermometer says it's 57 degrees right now, uh, but it has been blustery, windy today, so. Um, the rain and the red and it feels a lot colder and uh, the wind definitely will cut, cut through you and the rain doesn't help either so and we're sitting on cold cement too yep. so <laughs> we're getting ready to line up uh, for our tour and uh, we'll sh take you guys along show you what we see okay all right here we go That's Mendenhall Glacier. And that's Nugget Falls. Pretty cool that you can just walk out here to almost to a glacier. Yes. But that falls is epically massive. Yes, it's sure pretty is. cool. wraps up our time here at the Mendenhall Glacier. We gotta go back and jump on our trolley back to town. And then we've got a little bit of time before uh, we gotta be back on board. What? Not long, maybe an hour. What so. a beautiful, beautiful place. Yeah. Uh, wish we had more time. I'm glad That's that it stopped sure. raining finally. Finally. Yeah, I, you know, I thought two hours at a glacier, why do we need so much time? But there's a lot more to do here. I don't think that two hours is long enough. No. Because we didn't get through the visitor center to watch the movie that they have there and everything else. And, and there's all kinds of trails and stuff too. Right, lots of trails. Get down. And now it's time to get back on the bus. So yeah. well, we better head back over to our bus stop. Definitely something to check out. Yeah, if, uh, absolutely. If coming this way. It's gorgeous. There are so many different points to look at the glacier from mm -hmm. that, uh, you can get different views and different angles of it and definitely walk all the way down to Nugget Falls because that is spectacular. That's majestic. Yes. It's, it's so, so loud and big yeah. and yeah. It's huge, massive, massive waterfall. 
yeah. that you can walk right up to. So it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, let's go. So we just stopped at the Red Dog Saloon. Did I say that right? Red yeah. Dog Saloon, yeah. And they are famous for duck farts. And so we're about to uh, get one. Yeah, a real duck fart in the, real one, right? I guess, original place of creation for a duck fart. I don't know if you guys saw an Odyssey video. We'll link it down below. But we were drinking duck farts the whole cruise, the whole week. <laughs> With Harry at the music uh, hall on the third floor. That was, that was like our meeting ground. So we're actually going to have that big real thing now. The real duck fart. To the original. All right, this is for my son-in-law, Brad, who was my duck fart buddy on Odyssey for my birthday. To Brad. So we came to dinner. Or we, we got dressed really quick and came to dinner because it's kind of late. And the first waiter that we had, Lisa, um, I ran into him a couple different times and because we had a specialty dine last night. I was like, oh, maybe the next night, you know, we'll try and get in your section. And he had a table open, so we took it. He came over and he was very surprised to see us. I think he was very happy. So I'm glad that, you know, we're able to uh, get in his section tonight. What you think? It's better and different than I expected. It's almost like um, like a like a chowder, like a tomato-based chowder. Well, that's what it's supposed to be. It's a salmon chowder. Yeah, but I didn't expect it to taste like that. He didn't so. expect it to be a chowder. Okay. I expect it to be thinner. Got it. It's very good. Okay. Let's try this. I am not a fan of salmon. Most of the time. I've had some smoked salmon that I actually thought was pretty good, but most salmon tends to be too fishy. It's not bad. All right, that is what? Pear crisp with uh, French oh, vanilla. Pear crisp, okay. And this is the Strupwaffle Caramel Cheesecake. It said it was opera cake in a, in a jar. jar. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. All right, so that opera cake was a first for me. Never had it before. I don't even think I've ever heard of opera cake, but it was really good. If you like coffee, cappuccino, that type of flavor, which I do. If you watch our videos, you know I get tiramisu when it's available. Similar, but not the same. Very good though. Really enjoyed it. The Stroopwafel cheesecake with caramel was pretty good. On the the pear crisp. crisp is what they called it. A little bit strange. I'm not sure if they had someone new making the topping on the crisp, but it was just like mainly flour. Kind of chunky flour that maybe they mixed some butter in or something and so it tasted like flour. Just raw flour on top of that crisp so it was a little bit off and dinner oh, overall everything was wonderful yeah it was pear very crisp, good tonight yeah not so much <laughs> they went back and checked on that pear crisp apparently it was not put in the oven the way it was supposed to be that's why we were tasting the raw flour they actually brought us out one that was crisp the way it should be crisper and um so got to give them kudos for trying to make that right yeah, yeah. It was a spare dessert anyway, so it's like, okay. <laughs> it doesn't really matter that much. Kind of let them know so that they can troubleshoot some 
or work to remediate some of the problems that they may be experiencing with, uh, with their procedures, I guess you'd say. guys that wraps up our day in Juneau Alaska it has been quite a day quite a day kind of challenging but fun overall yes we overcame and had a good time yeah. and kept it entertaining for we, sure for we, ourselves anyway. yeah for us at least <laughs> yeah. hopefully it was entertaining for you guys yeah. too and if you haven't done so already make sure that you hit the thumbs up and subscribe because next week we're going to bring tomorrow's adventures in Skagway. We've got two excursions plus the orange party, so it's going to be a jam packed episode. It's going to be a episode next week. It's going to be a long day tomorrow. That's we're it. ready. It's going to be a long one. We're going to call it a night no here. Doubt. Yeah, we're going to call it a night. It is almost nine o'clock, and as you can see, it's still light out, but we gotta be up super early tomorrow yeah. for Skagway. So, we'll see you guys next time. From peaks to tides. We'll see you on the next ride. Bye, guys. Bye.